We are following breaking news. A school jamboree canceled last night after multiple fights broke out and some people were arrested. It happened at Greenwood High School. School leaders say multiple people were injured and required medical attention. A witness told 7 News that night was chaotic. Our Chloe Salsameda joins us live in the studio. And Chloe, we spoke with a father who was at the jamboree with his family today. Yeah, Kelsey, the father told me he took his children to the jamboree to have a fun family night. And as they were leaving, he said the crowd turned into a stampede and people trampled each other. Go, 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 go. Screams and yells could be heard coming from the crowd at Greenwood High School Friday night. Video captured by a father who asked Seven News not to use his name shows the moments he and his three children tried to leave the jamboree. It was just complete chaos. It felt like we were in a movie, like in a slow motion movie. Find you a seat or go home. <laughs> The father recorded a large crowd gathering near the concession stand earlier in the night. The Greenwood Sheriff's Office says multiple fights broke out in that crowd. There's a bunch of kids running up there, then they run back down, run up, run back down. The jamboree was eventually canceled because of the fighting. The father says he and his kids then joined another large crowd and walked from the field toward the parking lot. He says all of a sudden, people started running and pushing. Go, go, go. All of a sudden, people just started trampling over us. It was just so chaotic, and everybody was ducking and running. And it's still unclear why people started running. The Greenwood Sheriff's Office says they have not found any evidence that gunshots were fired, and school leaders say multiple people were injured and required medical attention. At the time, it felt unreal. Like, it didn't feel like it was really happening. The incident is still under investigation. The Greenwood Sheriff's Office asked that anyone who has information or videos from the event to please contact them. In the studio, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. Chloe, thank you. Greenwood District 50 did release a statement on the incident. It says in part, please know that along with all of our safety standard protocols and procedures, we will be implementing other safety measures at future events. As always, our top priority is the safety of our students, staff and community.